Hi everyone, my name is Ming Wong. I'm an artist uh, from Singapore uh, and I'm based in Berlin and Stockholm at the moment. And I'm here today to tell you about a work that I'm showing in the exhibition. Um, it's called uh, Hand in Hand, Suno Japo, Sola So. It's in three different languages. Uh, it's, um, it's a visual poem that I made as a result of staying in Dhaka, in Senegal, in the kind of uh, artist residency that I created for myself. Um, I first got to, to know Dhaka when I was part of a, a group exhibition for the Dhaka Biennale. Um, and I was very interested in what was happening because um, China was building a lot of big projects in Africa and especially in, in, in Dhaka, Senegal. Um, and one of the big projects that they have built was the um, Museum of Black Civilizations. Um, and the more I researched into to it, the more I felt compelled to actually go and observe what was going on. I'll tell you a little bit about the history of um, the Museum of Black Civilizations. So uh, when Dhaka, when Senegal got its independence, um, uh, the first president, Leopold Seda Senghor, was also a poet and a very um, visionary uh, cultural thinker. He proposed uh, for Dhaka to be the center of black civilizations in, in the whole world. And he was proposing a museum of black civilizations as a symbol of optimism for people of African descent to uh, control their, their fates. Uh, and it was kind of such a positive kind of um, vision. But unfortunately, uh, and this was in 1966, this was almost over 50 years ago, but the reality was the, the economy didn't uh, live up to the kind of uh, ambitions um, that were started by uh, that first president. Until, until recently, until 2018, when it was completed uh, with funding and, uh, and, and uh, building uh, assistance for mainland China. This was because China was uh, embarking on a series of um, uh, activities to promote their One Belt, One Road initiative. And uh, Senegal was one of the first uh, African countries to sign the agreement with them. And so President Xi Jinping actually made a visit to Africa and uh, uh, Senegal and Dhaka was the first uh, place in West Africa that he visited. Um, so I traveled to Dhaka and I stayed in the, in the, in the fashion district. I say fashion district, but actually it's like a, a factories where they produce, sew and sell um, clothes made out of uh, African printed fabrics. Um, and I went around the city looking at all the different projects that that China had a hand in, uh, in constructing. So, of course, there's the Museum of Black Civilizations. There was also um, the Grand National Theater, which is just across a big square from, uh, from the Black Museum of Black Civilizations. There's also the, a huge stadium for wrestling, which is a national sport of Senegal. Uh, there were also these kind of like exercise parks where, where uh, Africans of different uh, ages could work out, you know, uh, in the open air. It was strange because I'm, I'm familiar with these kind of uh, exercise structures you see all over parks in mainland China and then you see it all in Africa. And I went to collect, document and collect some of these like observations when I went around Dhaka uh, and entering the Museum of Black Civilizations was kind of special because even though it was promoting the kind of uh, uh, um, history and, and, and pride of, 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 uh, of African uh, civilization, at the, at the bottom of it, I knew that it was only made possible because of um, uh, money from mainland China in a kind of a political gesture. Um, so most of that is, is in the film, but I also wanted to talk about uh, my intervention. So what I did was when I was walking through the fabric market and it's, it's full of these beautiful printed um, African fabrics with different 
shapes of uh, symbols. And there was one which was uh, a pair of shaking hands. One hand was yellow, the other hand was red, and it was in a, against a, a sea of green. And I decided to buy this fabric and um, make a Mao suit somewhere. And I became a kind of like a cultural ambassador where I comb my hair very, I had shorter hair then, combed it very neatly like a, like a, like a president, like a diplomat wearing this Mao suit. And I would go around uh, Dakar and whenever people came up to me, I would greet and we would shake hands. We'd shake hands just like in the, in the symbol, the symbolizing symbolism in my in my uh, costume and with this outfit and with this persona i walked around i went around dhaka visiting some of these sites of uh, african chinese friendships uh, documenting the, the kind of like signages that they had uh, with the with the presence of china's um, hand in all of these projects and entering the Museum of Black Civilizations and appreciating all of these things, uh, kind of like um, like a like a diplomat. That's that's a project that I'm I, that I'm showing here in this exhibition. It's a it's a kind of a uh, observation of what's happening in the world at that at the time when I made the project. Um, uh, it's it's I think it's it's a very loaded kind of. Um, uh, um, gesture and symbolism. We don't know what's going to happen, if it's going to be sustainable in, uh, in the future. We, we don't know what the relationship between uh, Africa and China would be as, as, as time continues. Um, it's all of this is, is at a juncture, juncture of uncertainty. And um, I just wanted to make this work as a, as a kind of a document of, of, uh, of all this kind of like um, processes uh, and reactions um, at that present time, at that, at that moment.